Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and today we've got a debut puzzle by Deepak R, who's given us two given digits, which is very generous, Deepak. Um, I am going to mention the Patreon contest, um, linked Sudoku, got something very good coming up next month as well, but this one is your chance to get a quite approachable hunt done. Um, just three linked puzzles, you have to connect one row between each of puzzle one and two, and another one between puzzle two and three. It's proving very popular, loads of correct entries, do check it out. Join us on Patreon if you haven't already. Uh, and then you could see my crossword video from last week as well, if you were interested in the listener crossword, always fascinating. Uh, Simon's done a regular cryptic crossword on the channel, brilliant um, hidden constraint in the acrosses. Um, and of course there's all our apps for loads of Sudoku content, loads of constraints in those. Um, and we have got, yeah, I mean, just tons of stuff going on on the channel. And, ooh, okay, in this version I'm about to solve of Deepak's puzzle. Deepak's written to us and said he's he's been really helped by the channel and he's now decided to give it a go setting a puzzle and he's hoping it'll be good enough for the channel. So here it is. Well done, Deepak. We have got, what are the rules? The rules are XVs, arrows, and a one mark diagonal. So any two, so one to nine in every row, column, and box. That's normal Sudoku rules that apply. Any two cells joined by a V add up to five. Any two cells joined by an X add up to 10, but not all Xs and Vs are necessarily given. Um, digits along an arrow must sum to the circled value. So those two add up to that, for instance. And there are no repeat digits on the marked diagonal. Not a bad attempt at drawing it there. So that is a set of the digits from one to nine. Now, what I'm going to show you is going to mess with your head because you won't be able to unsee it. This arrow is not complete. Um, and I will try and fix that before you solve the puzzle yourself on the link. But the way I'm going to do it, I'm just going to have to imagine that that arrow reaches the circle. Uh, anyway, there we go. Those are the rules. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I am going to reset my clock and start now. Let's get cracking. So, I don't know if this is the simplest thing to do, but it often helps in puzzles, especially when there's a few Vs, to color the low digits, by which I mean one to four, because on any V, it has to be made up by two digits from one to four. Yeah, this is interesting. Right, so, in every row, column, and box, there are four of these low digits, one, two, three, and four. The other digits are all higher. And in this puzzle, I'm gonna make those all orange. So in box three, those are all orange. In row one, those are orange. In column four, those are orange. Box two, those. Have we got any other foursomes in a row, column, or box? Oh, that's orange because it's a six and that because it's a five. Now, on these X's, if we've got a low digit that side, one, two, three, or four, we've got a high digit the other side, six, seven, eight, or nine. So those are orange. These two are blue. That's the fourth blue, and that becomes orange. It's the fourth blue in row three. That one is blue. Now look, four blues on the diagonal. So it's not just every row, column, and box, but this marked diagonal, four blues on that. So everything else on it is orange. This is one of each, and that's going to be the fifth orange, so that's blue. In this column, we've got all the blues, so that's orange. Ah, this is going to be orange because there's an orange on the arrow, and once you've got a high digit on the arrow, this obviously can't be low. That gives us the five oranges for column seven. So that's blue. Now, I haven't got many of these, but there is gonna be blue on this pair. So all of these are orange, because that will be the fourth blue in column two. That goes blue because of the X. This has to add up to at least six, because it's a three cell arrow total, and that one too. So they're both orange. Um, 
What about this? Ah, oh, no, this one is low. Okay, I know that because any three cell arrow has to have two low digits on it. It can't have, well, it certainly can't have two from five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's low. In fact, this digit is not five and it's not one, two, three, or four. So that's a six. Now, actually, let's do some numbering now. We get one, two there. This is a nine. I've just realized this has to be high because that's high. Uh, we've got a pair. These can't both be high again because they would now be five and seven. So that's low. Yes, this is going to finish off the coloring, I think. We've got all four in the bottom row. I never spotted that. That's a, oh, we get this one. I can add up four blues, so I need another orange. One domino of one each there, domino of one each there, domino of one each there. That's one of each. This is double orange, actually. Okay, finally counted that. Maybe I can't finish off the coloring, but anyway, lots done now. We've got a nine here. So this is low, three or four. But this can't be higher than eight. And yet this, okay, it has to be three, five, eight. Three is the minimum low digit we've got left here. Five is the minimum high digit and eight is the maximum total. That has to be four, that's a two. There we go, box seven is done. This is very neat, by the way. This is very neatly compiled. So these are a one, three pair in column three. That has to be seven or nine, and it can't be nine. So seven, three, one, nine. I'm using the X values now. Five, six, or eight there. That one can't be six. With three gone there, this is a one, four pair that I can fill in. That's a two, we get an eight. That fixes the five, we get nine there. This is a three, seven pair, but I don't know the order. That's a six, eight, and this is a two, four, five, triple. Now, down here, this is a 2-3 pair, so this is 7 or 8. Ah, oh, what does that do? If that's 7, that's 3, that's 2, this is 5. If that's 8, that's 2, that's 3, this is 5 again. Oh, strange, okay. Whichever way around that group works, this is 5. Now, on this diagonal, 1, 2, 3, 4, there is the last low digit. So that gives us a one. This is a two, three pair. That's part of a two, three pair. This is one or four. Five on the diagonal is that. I wonder if the diagonal is going to be successively increasing. Yes, nine can't be in those cells because of those nines. It looks like it is. I'm not gonna assume it yet. That's a six, eight pair. This is, ah, oh, well, this can't be six now if that's a six, eight. Oh, it couldn't be six because of that. So nine there, one and a four, seven pair will finish the box. Uh, this is one or four. This can't have a one on it. So that's a two, three pair. This is seven or eight accordingly. Hmm, don't know what's going on there. But the two, three pair makes that a seven. This can't be two. Oh, it can't be five either. So that's four. Now this central row, we've got six, eight, and nine to place in it. This one can't be nine. That's getting interesting. Six or eight there, two or three there. Uh, two, four, six, two, six, eight, or three, five, eight. Oh. Can't resolve that, that's surprising. That's a four because it can't be one or two, three. That's a deadly pattern. So these are different. That must be one or four. Oh yes, look, there's a two there. So that's a one, four pair. Actually, so is this because of that three. Then we get a two, three pair at the top. This is a two, three pair. We know the order. So we get the X. This is a five, eight, nine triple. I can put in the five, but not the eight, nine. Six, seven makes this eight, six. 
Oh, I don't know at the top. 73214. This is a 6 5 pair. I can do those. This is 8 9. Now it's just box 6, I think, that's going to resolve everything else. Although maybe the diagonal. I haven't thought much about that in a while. Right, what's going on? We need a 1 in this box. It's got to be here. Okay, let's finish off the colouring maybe or, or what we can of it. Those are all blue now. Oh, whoops, they're not all 1, they're all blue. That's high, that's high, that's high. This is high, so it's not 4. Um, now, there is a 4 on this pair, so it's a 4-6 pair. Right, that's very helpful. 4-6, four, 4-7, four, that's a 1. This is 7, not 8, so that's 8. And yes, that diagonal was all in order. Uh, this becomes 7, 3-2, that sorts out the 3-2 deadly pattern. 6 sees 5 and 8, that arrow has worked. 3, 5, 8, this one is going to be 3 and 6 equals 9. 8, 6, that's a 9 in the central box. Oh, I've got another arrow here. 4, 1, 2 would be 7, which is impossible. So there we go. That is resolving the rest of those. Nearly finished now. We get a 2 here. That's a 7, 5 and 2. Let's finish off the colouring while we've got the chance before we finish the puzzle. Those can be orange, I think I've got that right. Then we can do 8 and 9 at the top and 4 and 1 there. And that's not too hard at all. Nice puzzle, Deepak. Just under 10 minutes for the solve in live time. Hope you had fun with that. It's, there's plenty to go on there. Probably don't have to do it in the order I did it at all. Maybe you don't even have to do it with colouring, but I think that makes it a bit quicker, to be honest. So I enjoyed it that way. And Sudoku is all about enjoyment at the end of the day. So thank you, Deepak, for bringing us some enjoyment in return for what you've got out of the channel. We are grateful. And thank you, as always, for following the channel. We'd love to see you here. Hope to see you again soon. And bye for now. Thank you.